We are better at predicting the weather than we are at predicting if you're actually going to see an aurora. But it all depends on what the sun's activity level has been in the last couple of days. So at most, we might have one, two, maybe three days worth of notice. Um, but if you're paying attention to aurora, it's The tool is uh, from NOAA, and it's an aurora prediction tool. The main feature that you'll see is a map. And that map will include a, a colored ring or a portion of what looks like a, a colored donut. That donut region will appear as, as different shades of green. That will show you a lower probability of seeing an aurora or maybe into the oranges and reds. That might show you areas that might have a higher probability. There's usually a thin line below or farther south. And so that shows you how far south you could be where if you're just north of that line on the map, you might see an aurora on your horizon. So the planetary K index is telling you how disrupted the Earth's magnetic field is right now from an impact of material from the sun. If you want to have a chance at maybe seeing an aurora in the lower 48 United States, then you want to pay attention to K indexes around seven, eight, or nine. One thing to pay attention to for the a uh, 30 minute probability map, the last still in that video is going to show you the, the current half hour or hour-ish ahead. Definitely take your, take your phone out with you, not just for the prediction, but for the camera's abilities to pick up color in low light situations much better than your eyes ever will. What my eyes saw was more like that tempering expectations um, for whether you might see one and taking the sources of light in your sky and in your environment into account, all of this plays a part. But when you actually see one with your own eyes, it is almost magical. It's, it's hard to believe that you're seeing actual interaction between the sun and the earth at, at that exact moment in time.